नमस्ते दिस इज द न्यू वर्जन ऑफ सोलर सिस्टम विथ एट प्लैनेट्स अर्लियर वर्जन वेर लार्जर एंड हैड लॉट्स ऑफ पार्ट्स टू टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल पार्ट्स इन दिस वर्जन आर थ्री डी प्रिंटेड एक्सेप्ट एक्सल एंड बेस्ट प्लेट एज वॉज द केस अर्लियर स्पीड विथ विच प्लैनेट्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन is proportional to the actual speed these parts can be assembled and taken apart easily axel for the outer planets gets bigger due to the concentric arrangement this introduces some friction and hinders smooth movement arms gears and axles are fixed in place with the help of these slots This 10 rpm DC motor drives the whole system but one can manually rotate this as well Alignment of gears is achieved with the help of these square bars Let me show you how to assemble and take apart this model planning to use this desktop version in the astronomy workshops i conduct for students as always all the design was done in free cad and 3d printing on my soval printer now let us look at the design part second column indicates the amount of days each planet takes to revolve around the sun as all planets will be driven by mercury its value is considered as a base ratio for other planets are calculated with respect to mercury with limited set of gears it's difficult to achieve exact values these are the desired ratios while these are the actual ones number of teeth for each axle is kept constant at 40 other gears used for the reduction are 16 21 and 24 reduction achieved for each step is given in the last column some idler gears are inserted to take care of direction as all planets revolve in anti clockwise direction here is how everything is assembled with the laser cut base plate proper meshing distances are achieved this 6 mm bolt holds all the axles together The 16th gear is for Mercury. As of now, motor is driving this base gear, but in future, I am planning to add manual control as well. Next axial gear is for Venus. It's 40 teeth and is also driven by the same motor gear. Let us add another axial gear for earth. Motion is transferred from lower axial gear to the upper one with the help of these three gears. These gears drive the reduction ratio as well as direction of rotation. In our case, it's all anti-clockwise. 
same scheme is followed for all the planets in the system. Planning to improve this scheme of things so that students can assemble and model themselves with more markings on the gears and other parts. Thank you.